All right, welcome back to our beginner's van build series. So, our lino has arrived. So we're gonna be fitting that to the floor today. Um, as you can see, we're just uh, sweeping up, making sure it's all clear of all dust, uh, debris, etc. So, what we have done is already fix the wooden floor into place with screws, which, in hindsight, we shouldn't have because we should have used it as a template to cut the lino out. But, to be honest, we just, we can't be bothered to unscrew it all, so we're just gonna do it by eye. It's a lovely day for it though. You know, with all this isolation, I feel like, even though I do have to work from home, Tash doesn't, but so that means we can get a lot of uh, a lot of the van build done over the next coming weeks. And have it ready sooner than we thought. And you can get um, like a specific floor adhesive, but we're gonna go what we've been using for this entire thing, which is the Dial, that's the brand's neoprene contact adhesive. And it says it's recommended for metal, wood, ceramics, plastics, cork foam, backed carpet, under felt cut, so all of that, so this will be fine. So for our color scheme, we've gone for light colors, so just like light browns and white, and we're just gonna keep it very natural and neutral, so it's light and airy. So I'm gonna try and unroll the whole thing, and then bend it up against the side and then basically just use a Stanley knife and cut it to shape. So yes, we're cutting it by eye around the edges, but it's all gonna be like overlapped and covered anyway. So like we're gonna have the wood coming down and it's gonna overlap it a bit. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just fitting it in so we don't have to cut too many edges. So this one, we've got flat up against there. So a lot of that we don't need to cut. Obviously we just need to cut like around the wheel arch, the corner there. And also at the top here, I've made sure that is level. So we don't need to cut that. And everything's just gonna be nice and parallel. <laughs> so I just need to cut a corner out of this to fit around there. Let's see how easy this stuff is to cut. Oh wow, that's actually really easy. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and just make a fold in this so that I can cut along that. I don't know if it's gonna work. So we've already started going around a lot of the edges. I know it's not gonna be the neatest job in the world, but it doesn't really matter because as, as Tash said, it's all gonna be hidden behind like the kitchen units and that anyway. So the trick is obviously to use the Stanley knife and not cut any of the, the bubble foil behind it. But it's coming along. I really like the colour that we've gone for. So in my head, what I'm sort of like visualising is like just very like light and sort of like beachy. I don't know if that's a good descriptor. <laughs> and just making some cuts at the edges because it makes it easier to work with. So yeah, I've just cut down the corner of the arch here because then it just makes it easier to put it in place. So here's a quick montage of us cutting the floor into shape. So this is the lino. You can sort of see it's like foam backed. Very easy to cut to the point where I stood on a back bit here and you can see that the metal has uh, broken it here but the floor stops here so everything from there down is all access so that doesn't matter fortunately. All right so <clears throat> we've, uh, we've cut all around the edges. It needs to be uh, trimmed so it fits a bit more perfectly. We haven't glued it down just yet so I think we're just gonna leave it for now because what we want to do is either, I don't know, I don't know whether or not we're going to place an additional bit of wood for then the lino to sit down and then we're going to put like a metal trim along the edge and then we're going to use sealant to make it all well, uh, waterproof. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, I don't know if we're going to use, like add another bit of wood for that just yet. Um, 
and we also need to do that with that sliding door over there put the uh, put the metal trim down and I don't know if you can see it in the back there but behind the, the driver door there's that sort of like metal I don't even know what it is a cage it's not a cage but whatever that metal frame is you can see we're gonna we're gonna take that out as well so we can get underneath there a bit better but yeah I'll give you a quick tour it is looking nice. I'm happy. Tasha's done most of the cutting. I haven't done much work today. We've only got one Stanley knife, so there's not much we both can do. I helped with pulling it about and that to make it all fit. But you can see it's all it's all gathered up here a little bit, so we need to trim up around here. Um, but yeah, happy days. So the next step for us is just to get a hold of the relevant tools to take that off. Trim it up, glue it down, and then that's the floor. All right, so we've got the tools we need. And Tasha's already got started before I even had a chance to grab the camera. <laughs> Keen. <laughs> it's also a little bit later in the evening, so we've both got our coats on now because it's getting a bit chillier. Cool. So the frame's off. And we're actually going to finish the floor tomorrow but we've made a lot of good progress as you can see needs a little bit of trimming around the edges just to because it's bunching up so I don't know if you can see but it's kind of like air bubbles I don't know what you want to call it but it's just yeah it needs trimming and then we'll glue it down tomorrow so it's a new day we've just finished trimming the floor and now we're gonna glue it down Cool, so that's the floor down. Uh, we just like use a cloth and a bit of wood just to get out any air bubbles. And then yeah, so the metal trim or flashing, whatever you want to call it, is going to go across here. So that'll arrive Monday, so that'll just be drilled into the floor itself. Just to give it that better seal and just to give it a better finish as well. And then once that's done, we'll put some of that Seeker Flex sealant all along here as well. Alright, thanks for watching. This one's been pretty much all attached, so round of applause. <laughs> uh, I hope you're enjoying this van build series for beginners. If you did, uh, give it a like, let us know down in the comments. And yeah, why not subscribe? And then I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.